I'd like to give you some basics on color in in drawing. It's not uh, we've all learned, you know, about the primary colors and and how they create every other color. But uh, it's the white and the black that create light and shade. That's the depths of how how much light so I'm gonna start by the primary colors to show you that every every color comes from the primary colors and it really doesn't matter what you use you could use any kind of uh, paint, oil, uh, any crayons, it's all the same. in front of us uh, I don't know if you could see it just a minute let me get a little bit better but here I have the I'm doing my best to get a good image of the colors and I'm not doing a good job oh there they go okay so we have the black white red blue and yellow now say if I want to have pink well we all know pink is from red and, and white uh, purple a little bit of red a little bit of blue and we get the purple I don't know if you could see the purple, but there's the purple. Now, in order, it's a dark purple, so what you do in order to get a lighter purple is you put white, and then you'll be able to see. Well, it looks like blue, but it's it'll become a lilac color. Now, blue and yellow make green. And there's the green. Now, say if you want a uh, lime green, then you put a little bit of white. And then you get a lighter green. If you want a khaki green, a darker green, forest, then you put the black with the green. Of course, you have to add more blue, more yellow in order to get that color, but those are the basics. Now say if we wanted to have orange, I get yellow and red. And we get our orange. I forgot to clean my brush. That didn't help, but you get the basic idea. Um, of color of how it works. That looks a little more brown than it does orange because I forgot to clean my brush. Let's do that one again. Let's do the orange again. I'm gonna do it a little bit lower. I'll clean my brush. Red and yellow. That's like a pretty basic rule with cleaning your brush and I forgot that one. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to do the orange now. And there it is, the pretty orange. I don't know if you could see that. There's the orange. And 
I'll use white to make it more visible. And there you go. So every color can um, comes from the primary colors. Uh, there's like I said, look at what happened with the brown, and that's because I did the forest green with the orange, and it made a brown. If you want a skin tone, well, you put a little bit lighter with white. And that's it. So those are the pretty much the basics. Let's try, um, is there one that we didn't try? Let's see, we did the purple in the purple shades. Let's try a... Well, gray we know. Let's try a all three of the primary colors and we'll see what we get. There's the yellow. And there's the red. And the blue. Oops. And I will definitely clean my brush. And let's see what we get. Mixing them together. And whoa, that's really nice. Now I'm gonna lighten it so you could see the color well because it's on blackboard. And look at the color it gave me which is incredible. Love that color. It's like a green, uh, emerald kind of green, a turquoise, a dark, dark emerald turquoise green, which is really nice. So that's more or less, uh, the basics of, of paint, of, uh, how you can make uh, different colors, different hues. Uh, if you're going in the autumn hues, then you use only the red and the yellow. Uh, if you're going in, in, the, um, in the waters, then you use the yellow and the blue for the greens, the turquoise, the aquas. And a little bit of red, obviously, because that made a forest green. If you could see that, it's like a forest green. And a turquoise at the same time, you know, it's, it all depends. You play with your color and you get to know, uh, different shades, uh, how they look. Uh, of course, quantity is important. Uh, right now I just did like a basic just to show you, uh, what you can achieve with, uh, just three colors. You know, if you say, oh, well, all I have is, you know, as long as you have the primary colors, you're pretty much in good shape. You get everything you need. Um, obviously, you need that white and you need the black. It's uh, essential, you know, the light and the shade. It's it's what, what it's all about, you know, color, light, shade. It's everything you need to start painting. And don't be afraid to mess up something you can't you don't mess up art art is is what you feel and how it works for you you know that's not a you're not trying to please anyone but yourself and and learn in the process you know you you learn things you learn about color you learn about uh neat types of um movements with the brush and and what you can achieve with the brush and it's just uh, a lot of fun, and it eases the mind. It keeps your mind off of almost anything. You could paint and paint and paint and just be pretty much happy. <laughs>